Right LEGO fans, it's Brickhead's time again and I've finally managed to track down the other two numbered limited edition Brickheads from the LEGO Movie 2. You may have seen my review a few weeks ago when I reviewed set number 41634 Emmett and 41635 Wildstyle. Those were limited to 5,000 each and were exclusive to Walmart stores in the United States. I was really fortunate to jump on that very quickly and save myself a lot of time and money on eBay. But unfortunately I wasn't quick enough to grab the other two which were exclusive to Target stores. And that meant paying well over the odds on eBay, but you guys are worth it. Today I'm going to be unboxing, speed building and reviewing Set number 41636 Benny and 41637 Sweet Mayhem, limited numbered edition brickheads from the LEGO Movie 2. Although these were expensive, I did manage to pick up the pair on eBay for $88. That's a lot of money for a pair of brickheads, but I've definitely seen them sell for a lot more. I'm really pleased to finally have the full set so that I can display all of these guys together. Benny is the smaller of the two sets with 103 pieces, but it's really nice to be getting a custom printed brick showing the distressed classic space design, and he's numbered 2016 of 5000. Sweet Mayhem, or more accurately General Mayhem, seems to be the more elaborate build, and she also comes with at least one custom printed brick. I'm certainly a big fan of the futuristic aesthetic of the helmet. On the side of each box we get a reminder of what the character looks like. In this case Benny is a minifigure and Sweet Mayhem is a mini doll. We're politely reminded that the minifigure and the mini doll are not included. I guess Sweet Mayhem doesn't really translate into Spanish. I'm pretty sure Dulce Chaos means something like Double Trouble. I wish I'd paid more attention in Spanish class. Over on the back of the box we get another look at the Brickheads characters and confirmation that each comes with a 6x6 Brickheads display base. We also get confirmation that these come in pairs and were not intended as a collection of four. Although obviously they were. Were LEGO trying to get Target shoppers to go to Walmart and vice versa? I guess we'll never know. One thing I do find interesting is that both of these boxes rip open. All of the 2019 Brickheads I've seen so far had traditional boxes. I much prefer those because you can cut them open with a knife and flatten the box. When I rip these ones open it's not going to be a pretty sight. Speaking of which, it's time to increase the value of everybody else's Benny and everybody else's Sweet Mayhem. Yes it's time to rip these boxes open and see what we've got inside. Here's everything that came inside both boxes. Each box contains three bags of Lego, a 6x6 black base plate, and an instruction booklet. I'm going to go ahead and put together the Benny and Sweet Mayhem brickheads, and today this is going to be a 60 second speed build! <laughs> the completed Benny and Sweet Mayhem brickheads. Benny was a simpler of the two builds and build time was 13 and a half minutes. Sweet Mayhem or General Mayhem took a little bit longer at about 17 minutes. We're going to be reuniting these guys later in the video but before we do let's take a detailed look at Benny and General Mayhem. Benny is of course everybody's favourite blue classic spaceman. He stands about twice as high as the minifigure which is not included in the set. Overall the Brickhead is instantly recognisable as Benny but he really does miss that trademark smile. Benny stands on the standard 6x6 base plate that we're accustomed to seeing with Brickheads. In the unlikely event you've never seen one of these before you might notice that the Brickhead's base plate has a Brickhead's face on it. The legs are a very standard construction made up of 1x2 blue bricks. But then we come to that chest print which is a beautifully distressed classic space logo. This matches the logo we see on the front of the minifigure really well. 
Speaking of the classic space logo, Benny hides quite a secret inside. We do have to do some minor disassembly to reveal the secret. I'm sorry about this, Benny. Hidden completely from view inside Benny, you'll find this non-distressed space logo. If you so choose, you can restore Benny to his mint in box condition. I actually think it's pretty damn cool that Lego included that element and hid it inside the brickhead. Another interesting feature while Benny's in bits is the cracked helmet. As you can see here, we've got a piece here showing the cracked part. That is actually clipped onto a piece buried deep within the head. As you can see, this just clips on like so. There are some really interesting build techniques used here. With Benny reassembled, we can finally take a look at the face, if you can call it that, and the detail in the helmet. The way the broken helmet was incorporated into the brick head is quite interesting. When it comes to the minifigure, it was a pretty simple moulding feature. You'll notice how part of the helmet juts out where it's broken. That's not quite how it appears with the brick head, but to be honest, I can't see how else they would have built it. The face is a very standard brick head's face with those soulless eyes. It would have been really nice to see Benny's smile on here, but of course that's not how Brickheads work. Recreating a rounded Lego minifigure helmet in Brickheads form is definitely a design challenge. The designers have worked around that here by using a fairly square helmet with some detailing in the corners. There are bricks above and below Benny's face which kind of wrap around. This gives the appearance that his face is embedded within the helmet. The corners do kind of round off as we approach the top of the helmet. And right on top we've got a round element surrounded by some quarter circle tiles. Peeking around the back you can see Benny's backpack which contains the air cylinders. This actually looks really cool. The backpack is made up of two cylinder pieces which is essentially the same element we use to make R2-D2 figures. These are capped with circular tiles which gives it a nice seamless look. Apart from those air cylinders there's really not a lot of detail around the back. And to be honest that's fine because Benny doesn't have detail on the back. Turning to the side you can get a better look at the profile of the helmet. Here you can see how the face is set back behind the visor. Benny has the usual clips for hands and this is a mirror image on each side. Brickhead's Benny doesn't come with any accessories and to be honest most of the time Benny doesn't carry anything. But his minifigure friend has brought along a sausage to share. The sausage is the accessory that came with the minifigure for the double decker couch set. So with the notable exception of the smile, I do think the designers have done a good job with this Benny Brickhead character. I just wish they'd broken with convention and given us a little smile. Moving along we have Sweet Mayhem. Although in the movie when she's wearing the helmet, she is generally referred to as General Mayhem. Or Dulce Chaos, whatever that translates into. As far as I can tell, this is the first time a mini doll has ever been recreated in Brickhead's form. And I've got to say the Brickhead is a really convincing recreation of the mini doll. Maybe Sweet Mayhem should be a little bit taller because mini dolls are usually taller than mini figures. We've got the usual 6x6 Brickhead's display base. And the legs incorporate the pink stripes we see on the mini doll. Although we are missing that turquoise detail. These are made up of alternating white and pink 1x2 tiles. We get a nice printed brick on the torso recreating the detail we see on Sweet Mayhem's uniform. And I love the teal detailing on the arms which recreates the stripes on the uniform. The designers did a great job on recreating the alien-esque style helmet. This uses 2x2 triangular tiles to recreate the visor. And then just look at that futuristic pink fin on top of the helmet. It looks like some combination of Marvin the Martian and Yondu from Guardians of the Galaxy. On the side of the helmet we have these pointy features. I'm not sure if these are radio receivers or if they're just there to make Sweet Mayhem look cool. These are adjustable and swivel round so you can adjust the angle and they pop off really easy so you can see how they attach to the side of the helmet. Just like Benny, Sweet Mayhem's helmet is kind of rounded and there's some detail on the top here which kind of recreates that effect. Another nice feature is the microphone which you see on the left hand side of Sweet Mayhem's helmet. It's a really nice way to recreate the feature you see on the mini doll. From the side profile you can appreciate just how much detail has gone into Sweet Mayhem. She actually has about 30% more parts than Benny. She also comes clutching one of these heart shaped tiles in pink. I believe that's the peace offering from the movie and this is only the second time I've seen that element. The last time I saw one of those was with the Tin Man in the collectible minifigure series. If you've not already checked out my guide on feeling out those blind bags, I'll put a link to it in the corner now. On the other side, Sweet Mayhem's hand is pointing forwards and clutching a blaster. It's made up of three elements and matches the one held by the mini doll. When viewed from the back, we get a good look at Sweet Mayhem's wings. These incorporate some really fancy glittery trans blue just like we see with the mini doll. 
They are kind of hard to see from the front, but there is a lower wing and an upper wing. The upper wings have quite a lot of scope for posability, and movement for the lower wings is much more limited. Overall, I really like this Sweet Mayhem Brickhead. It looks a lot like the mini doll, which in turn means it looks like the character from the movie. I just wish I didn't have to pay $44 to own this. And I really feel sorry for the people who would have bought these brickheads and won't have the opportunity. So that was Benny and Sweet Mayhem, but now it's time to reunite them with the rest of the gang. 41634 Emmett, 41635 Wildstyle, 41636 Benny, and 41637 Sweet Mayhem. Here are all four of the numbered limited edition brickheads from the LEGO Movie 2. These were all limited to 5,000 units each, and that means they sold out pretty much immediately. I didn't like paying somebody on eBay $88 for Benny and Sweet Mayhem. Thankfully, I kind of saw this coming. So when I ordered Emmett and Lucy from Walmart, I actually ordered three sets. One of those you see before you now, the other I'm going to keep mint in box for my collection, and the third set is actually on eBay now to pay for Benny and Sweet Mayhem. I'm definitely not one of those people who buys Lego to make a profit. But it's nice being able to take those two extra brickheads and sell them to fund another purchase. If I'm totally honest, I would have just preferred LEGO stores to be full of these guys. Everybody should be able to go out and buy one of these characters for 10 bucks. But in the crazy, crazy world of LEGO, there's always something out there to make a collector's life a little bit interesting. And frankly, expensive. As much as I enjoy the characters, Emmett and Benny, I don't think these are the best brickheads from the LEGO Movie 2. I do think the girls are the best of the bunch, and although I like Sweet Mayhem, Wildstyle is probably my favourite of the four. But what do you think to the LEGO Movie 2 brickheads? Were you lucky enough to get any of these? And if you did, did you manage to get them through Target or Walmart, or are you one of those people who had to go out and buy them on eBay? As always, do feel free to share your thoughts in the comment section below. So that was set number 41636 Benny, and 41637 Sweet Mayhem. I really hope you enjoyed this LEGO Brickheads unboxing, speed build and review video. If you did and you want to see more videos like this, then please don't forget to hit that like button. For every like I get on one of these videos, Mrs H allows me $1 to spend on LEGO. So as you can imagine, it takes a lot of likes to buy sets like these. And if this is the first time you're watching one of my videos, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and ring the bell. This will notify you every time I release a new video. It looks like we might have some trouble here, so I better wrap this up. Thanks a million for checking out today's review, stay safe, and we'll see you on the next build video.